Hello everybody. Hey, I was just coming in today. I just got through uh, in meditation and praise and worship and and my heart kind of grieved a little bit. Um, and that grieving is um, that grieving is I God just showed me something. He kind of rebuked me. And he let me know some things. And I I accepted it. And I asked him to forgive me. But you know, a lot of times when we do this, or when we allow this, we really, we really have a have a good heart and really um really want to hear from God. But anyway, y'all, my heart is a little grieved, but, you know, one thing about life, life experiences, you can either take what you have learned and, 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 and learn from it and do better or you can take what you have learned, throw it to the backside, and keep making the same mistakes. And we do that. As human beings, we do that because we're not perfect. We, we, we're going to do that. But hopefully, prayerfully, we will learn from those mistakes. But anyway, y'all, God put in my spirit. Once you, once God give you something, once he give you a word, once he tell you to do something, once he tell you to pray for this person, once he tell you to buy this or buy that, once he tell you to say this or say that, once he Whenever he he is giving you a command to do something, please do not allow an option to come on board because that option can stagnate, stagnate, or it can stop the process that God has given you. You hear what I'm saying? Once God tells you to do whatever, if he told you to do it, I'm saying you. Once he has told you, point at yourself, you to do it. Don't don't do not allow an option. People in your ear, people saying what they would do, or what I would do, or what would be better, or this could be better. Or this this right here says this is this this is in comparison to what is going on. Uh, the doctor said this. The doctor said that. She said this. Or they said that. Do not. I'm saying. If God has given it to you. If God has given it to you. You guard that. You guard what God has given to you. Do not allow. I don't care who it is. It can be mama, brother, sister, daddy, aunties, cousins, enemies, whomever. I don't care who it is. Do not allow anything to change what God 
has told you to do. Because once you put that option there, whether you believe it or not, or whether you want to accept it, once you put that option there, you just took your eyes off of what God told you to do. You took your eyes off of God. Now I know the human part of us. Yeah, because that's the way we've been taught. You know, get advice. Or get the, you know, what, 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 what they think or what. Because you value your family and your friends and, you know, the doctors, uh, the medical team or the government. You, you value those things. But let me tell you, that what I just named can let you down. And some of it, like our family and friends, don't probably don't even realize that they, you know, put that option there. But the government, that's another story. They know what they're doing. But anyway, once God gives you something to carry out, and he told you to do it, you don't stop until you carry it out. I don't care if the outcome, whatever the outcome is, so be it. But if God gave you a command to do something or gave you something to do, then you are obligated to carry it out no matter what. You don't allow no option to be planted in your head. Because if you do, you're taking your eyes off of God. And that's that's the message for the day. That's the message for the day because I got convicted over some things. I got convicted. God told me to do one thing. And yes, I was doing it. I was doing what he told me to do. But I allowed an option to come in there. I allowed an option to come in. No matter whatever it, whatever the outcome would have been, I still allowed that option to come in there. And you know what that option did? It affected the, pro- the process. Because sometimes when those options come in there, you kind of step back a little bit. Ain't no stepping back when God done told you to do something. That should never be a stepping back when God done told you to do something. But when that option get there, you step back. When you know, I'm talking for, I'm talking about for those that hear that know God when God, when God is speaking. I'm saying when you know when God is speaking. So, y'all, I hope this was an eye opener to somebody. It may not be for everybody, and that's okay. But God put it on my heart that I need to speak on this. And I'm being obedient to God. For those that have an ear, hear what God is saying in this hour. Because I know that those, and you know, that those options will take your eyes off of God. And do you wonder why it didn't go according to plan after he done told you? And then you stand and wondering why it why didn't go according to plan. Sometimes we got to go back and look at look at the full whatever what happened. What really happened? We got to deal with those things. What really happened? And when we deal with what really happened and you find out what really happened, then you learn from it. 
Amen. Then you learn from it. So y'all, do not, once God give you something and you know you done heard from God, do not allow an option to come in. Do not allow the option to come in. Because it can change the outcome of what God has already given you. Amen. Be blessed. I pray that this word fall on good ground. And I pray that it accomplish all that God has sent out, sent it out to do. And Lord, I thank you. I give you glory. And Lord, I ask for forgiveness. For yet again, missing you, God. Not being obedient to what you have me to do. I, 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 I ask for forgiveness. And I know, I pray that I learn from this. Because this is not an hour to even hear. This is an hour that every crucial thing that enters into our heart and our mind, our ears and our eyes, is very delicate right now. Very delicate. So we have to be very, very careful. We have to guard those things. Because the enemy, is, he's not, he, he coming one way and he also coming another way. He'll use the simplest, seem it, the simplest of the simplest to throw things off track. Look at his track record. He's been doing it. All my life, I know for sure. And all of yours too. So y'all, take this word. And learn like I have. Or like I'm going to. Not saying that it that it won't happen again. But I'm definitely going to be paying close attention to the op. Once God give me something. Once God tell me to do something. Once he tell me to do it, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to try my best. Now, you know what? I can't only, I don't need to put that try in there because it should, it should be a closed door. That once God give you something, you got to go all the way with it and not allow no options to come in there. And remember, God is still God. He still rang. He been doing this a long time ringing. He know what he doing. It may not appear sometimes as man, but he knows exactly what he's doing. So once God give, give you something to do, carry it out. Carry it out without the options. Amen. God bless you.